What if I told you that I can make your scabby $75 mic sound like a thousand dollars for your video projects? I shot my first feature and I've worked with people like Sean Hannity and Jamie Kennedy. Now I help others figure it out. Let's go. Bruno here. And I didn't want to do this because it's a dreech day and I wanted to sleep in. Pay close attention because throughout the video today, I'll offer tips and- That'll be enough of that. Okay, so yeah. Bruno is offering his quick tips of the day. I apologize in advance, um, but you know, I couldn't get him out of bed otherwise, so let's get started. So I've got some audio issues. It's some boominess. Essentially what we're talking about here is certain frequencies within the audio itself. So it's not necessarily an issue with the microphone. Sometimes it's just the position of the microphone, like in relation to the distance to your subject, the way it's pointing at your subject. There's a lot of variables, but uh, sometimes they're unpredictable, especially if you wouldn't consider yourself an audio engineer, which I am not. We're talking about how to make our first feature film on this channel. I'm coming at it from the standpoint of you don't have any money to start with. You haven't raised any funds. You're using your own money out of your own pocket. And so sometimes you don't have the money to afford an audio engineer. If I could afford one, I would gladly pay <laughs> to have an audio engineer deal with my issues. In this case, I'm showing you guys how to be your own audio engineer. Hey, what, what was that? Bruno, what, what did you just put on the screen? Bring it back up. I want to see what you just said. Now. Well, I, I'm about 99% sure that's not what that said. I would appreciate it if you would just leave it down if you don't have anything to add that's useful, okay? <sighs> I'm sorry about that, folks. Anyway, as I was saying, in this, we're going to take a listen to uh, what we have here. He decides to face the monster, taking us straight into the second act or the rising action to the climax. The first step that I take is zero out all the changes and we're gonna start from the very beginning. So if you go to the audio tab, it'll be set to this default and you can see, this is what the volume of the audio sounds like with it, just this default out of the camera. He decides to face the monster, taking us straight into the second act. I mean, it's, it's really low. I mean, you can pump the audio up if you want. Or the rising action. I'm going to select this drop down box and you may not see it when you go to the sound. It might have this browse with all these waveforms. Just click on this edit button and you will see this default uh, preset drop down. So click on that and then you're going to click on balanced male voice and that's it. You can see that the waveform has already changed. The audio levels are, are already higher to the climax. Later. There is some exposition in the, and that doesn't sound bad. Go we'll go back to my default layout. You can, um, if you're, if you don't have a default, then you just go back to editing. Bruno, there's people who I'm trying to help them solve a problem here with this video, and you keep interrupting with these stupid remarks, and it's not very respectful to these people who are spending their time watching this video. So if you would please, just. We're going to focus on the 10 band. You can see that by clicking that one drop down, it added all these plugins in the right order. That's pretty much, I mean, if you wanted to stop there, you could, but I like going a step further to where it sounds like it pops, you know? So I'm gonna go into the graphic equalizer and you can see that this waveform, I'm not real crazy about it. In my opinion, it's not, it doesn't produce great sound. It just produces okay sound. So the way the big boys do it, in the uh, Hollywood studios. I had a professional engineer show me this technique and when it comes to EQing voices. So we're in the 10 band channel. On this area of the 10 band is the base of your dialogue. And in the middle you have your mids and then on the outside you have your highs. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pump the bass a little. We're going to drop the mids and you can see we're making kind of like a valley shape. And you need to play around with this. If you pump this too high, it'll just sound too tinny. And you can just listen to what it does whenever I move these sliders around. He decides to face the monster, taking us straight into the second See how act, that didn't sound or great. the rising action to the climax. Later, there is some exposition in the form of the characters putting pieces together from an experience that happens. So that kind of gives you an idea of what this middle section can do for your audio. It can make it sound just so nice. You can make a cheap sounding microphone sound so much nicer than it really is. So when you feel like you gotta buy a thousand dollar microphone, don't. Because I buy um, the Octava 
uh, Octava, Octava, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a Russian mic. They've been around for a very long time and they produce a cardioid mic. Um, I do not use a shotgun mic unless I'm doing like outdoor shoots and I'm needing to make sure that environmental sounds don't get into my audio. Well, most of the stuff that I'm doing is mostly indoors. I will use the cardioid mic and it's built to minimize these mid range frequencies right out of the gate. Like you don't even have to fight with it really, which is why the audio sounds halfway decent. So if you're using like a road mic or something like that, it may sound a little muddy and that muddiness is coming from mids that need to be pulled down some highs put in there so as you can see this is kind of a top of a heart shape which is the cardioid shape it's the symbol for the cardioid microphone Chris describes seeing a heart but all I see is a bum Bruno! <laughs>